the director of Cocktail Mania. Cocktail Mania is an events company that specializes in cocktails. I was very attached to the business because I mean, it was my baby. I got sued by Hennessy. Oh wow. Passion is what's gonna carry you through the hard times, the times where you don't have any booking. <laughs> I'm good. That's good. You're looking beautiful, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna get straight into it. Do you like to tell us about yourself and what you do? I'm Nina. I'm 27. I own Cocktail Mania, and I also work in the events industry full time. So you run the business Cocktail Mania. Yeah. Would you like to tell us what it's all about? So basically, Cocktail Mania is an events company that specializes in cocktails, um, mocktails. We have a waffle bar, donut bar, loads of different things basically, loads of different services. So do you cover mainly events or do you do like home services as well? Do home services. So where did the idea for your business come from? I started Cocktail Mania because I didn't like when I used to go out, I don't like the taste of alcohol, but I wanted to drink. So I used to mix at home to come up with um, recipes for drinks that were strong, but they didn't have the alcohol taste. So you wanted alcohol that kind of tastes nice? Yeah, and then I wanted to make alcohol a bit more fun and to just give it like a, just a different feel for people so they could have something at their events that were unique. Okay, so how long has your business been going on for and how well do you think it's going so far? So the business has been going on for over a year. It's been registered since 2015, but I didn't awesome. act on it for a while. I just sat on the idea for a while. When we first started, I had a shop on Old Kent Road. After a few months, that closed. And yeah, we've just been going from strength to strength. As time has gone on, we've just gotten bigger and bigger and busier. We're basically trying to revamp and we're making Cocktail Mania a group so there'll be other things that come off the business now. So you mentioned that you had a shop and then that closed down. Yeah. Was there any reason for that? <sighs> Um, it wasn't anything to do with the business really, it was just the shop that I had was um, attached to my dad's restaurant and okay. nightclub and Ooh, <laughs> <family> <laughs> <issues>. <laughs> <laughs> um, his baby mother wanted the shop so it was a lot of back and forth for a lot of months and I just gave it up because I didn't really want the negativity in the business anymore because it was just starting to affect business so yeah. I walked away. Well that's sad. Yeah. So did it affect sales in any way or did it turn around? No, it actually helped because people were like what? It's closed down. I had people like strangers looking for shops for me like no this can't close down we need to continue and um, people that used to come into the shop all the time they just hired me for their private events and told like their families and stuff so it hasn't really affected the business it kind of helped it in a way. Do you um, see yourself getting another shop anytime soon or in a couple of years time? Yeah if I can get the money together and yeah but it is on our plan. Okay I think you kind of touched on it a little bit earlier but if you were pinpoint a market for your business what would it be everyone Everyone, everyone who drinks, and it's actually not even everyone who drinks because I do mocktails as well, and then I do other stuff that has nothing to do with drinks. So like the waffle bar or the donut wall, candy tables. Who do you think contacts you the most? Like if you were to pinpoint a demographic, people that live in South London. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> That's good though because yeah. there's always events there. Yeah, the, yeah, it's massive. So there's always events there, and even on Instagram you can see your statistics when you have a business. So you you can tell where most of the people come mm -hmm. from and yeah and most of them are South London. Okay. So, yeah. 
So I know you've kind of mentioned like some downtimes. My next question was, were there ups and downs? And then what have you kind of learned from it? Um, yeah, there's been downtimes. I mean, closing the shop was, it wasn't a downtime like, oh, but it was sad for me because it was something that I worked for and for it to just get taken away then, you know. But I did have a major, major, down time. I got sued by Hennessy. Oh wow. Wait, am I allowed to say this? Yes. <laughs> I don't want it to come for me again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just quickly, um, you don't have to go into detail, but... But yeah, in the shop, I used to do this thing where I used to fill up um, bottles of alcohol with the slush. It wasn't even my idea, it was a customer's idea who came in one day mm -hmm. and she asked me to fill up her bottle of slop, an uh, empty bottle, so I filled it and from that picture it just went and went and I've got pictures of the internet that went viral yeah. that I can't get off the internet mm. but it's there like if people search for it I got sued by them for copyright in fridge. Did you win the case? Did they win the case? I settled. Me and my solicitor put in um, a plea and we kind of settled. I paid them and oh, wow. whatever. Yeah. yeah and I've just kind of put it behind but it was very very big blow because I didn't trade for a while mm. um, because I was trying to deal with that and I'd been advised to close the business down um, and to deal with all the legal stuff that comes with it you know and just move on from there yeah but I didn't want to because I knew the name that I created um, Cocktail Mania and I knew what I wanted to use the name for yeah I knew I wanted to um, make it bigger and have like other businesses come off it. So I didn't like I didn't want to get rid of the name. Yeah. Because it was advice. Well, they were suing you for the name or for the bottle? No, they were suing for the bottle. But if you close the business down, then obviously you have. To, if you want to make another business, it would have to be in a different name. Okay. So they just told me close the business down, rebrand, mm -hmm. um, and come back as something else. Oh, okay. And, well, you liked um, the, ori the original idea. Yeah. I was very attached to the business because, I mean, it was my baby. And, yeah. You know. I think this is the side that we don't normally hear about when it comes to business. People just think, you get an idea, boom, you make money, but there's <laughs> yeah. stuff that no, goes you, on you behind don't. the scenes as well. Yeah. I've actually never heard of, but wow, that's um, crazy. Yeah, that feeling of when you get that 32 page lawsuit and you're like Boy. confused because you have no idea what anything means. Just to Google what what stuff like that, there's nothing out there, there's no information. You have to pay people yeah. to let you know and yeah. if you're a small business it's so hard to mm. You know, like be able the to afford. Yeah, you know, yeah. I've got some crazy quotes. You know, four hundred and fifty pounds an hour, and it's an eight-hour job, and it's like, what are wow. you talking about? Well, I'm glad you've recovered. You've recovered from that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Definitely. So, the next thing I kind of want to ask about is that: is there any like competition? So, people with similar ideas or um, there's cats a... on the internet. <laughs> copycats. There's loads of copycats. I'm. There's so many of them, I'm blocking them left, right and centre, but there's nothing you can do. Once you have something that people see is popping in their eyes, they're always going to want to also make money off the same thing. Yeah. People think it's really easy, you just have a business and then you make money tomorrow. Yeah. It, it's not like that. And a lot of the services that I provide and a lot of the products and stuff, I have planned it, sat down, I've drawn it, I've spoken to people about mm. it. It's not easy. So I put in a lot of work so for someone to come in and Yeah, most people and, be irritating. And they don't change it. They yeah. take the exact same thing and yeah. they just replicate. It's just like what? Yeah. <laughs> you know, but I think that's what happens when you have um, a business. But people can never be your brand and you'll always be ahead because you're the innovator and they are the copycats. How has your business like evolved from the original idea? It actually wasn't even meant to 
start in the shop it was meant to be mobile and then go and then it, it it's evolved so much that i never envisioned what it would be like now when i look back and i think of the actual plan that i had mm -hmm. and i think how it really went the other way it's like oh it went that way for a reason mm -hmm. you know because i wasn't ready for that for something as big as that i had to do the journey to get there mm -hmm. I feel like it's, yeah, as it comes, obviously there's a process. And mm. as you get more comfortable, the shop will just be yeah. landing your... Know. Yeah. Okay, so where do you see yourself in five years? Definitely a couple more business ideas. I have loads of business ideas. It's just doing one thing at a time. I really like doing loads of things. That's the type of person I am. I want to uh, everything all at once, but sometimes I have to pull myself back and, you know, just concentrate on one thing. So in five years, I know Cocktail Mania will definitely be bigger than what it is. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping to, in the next few years, to stop working full yeah. time yeah. and to be able to just concentrate on business 100%. Yeah. Do you see yourself collaborating with any other brands that are out there? Yeah, yeah. Um, I have like loads of things coming up with loads of different people. So I think you mentioned an event on on Twitter. I know you probably don't want to tell us everything, but could you just give us yeah, a brief like that that event is coming. Yeah. It's That's coming. Exciting. I'm just waiting for the other person. It's gonna be an unlimited suya, unlimited jerk chicken, and yeah. unlimited cocktails yeah. event brunch. So you know, you get your time. Your two our slot and you can eat and drink as much as you can in that yeah. time yeah you look very interested <laughs> <laughs> trying to do more events like that because we actually don't have a lot of events outside of raves, raves yeah yeah. and parties yeah there's going to be a section an entertainment section where people can play games yeah. and chill out and yeah. stuff like that that i want there to be an event like that where people don't feel like they have to dress up and you know they could just come come in to eat and yeah. drink and yeah. have fun i think networking events off twitter is always nice to actually meet the people that yeah. you've been following for the longest time. You mentioned a nine to five as well. Do you do you work as yeah. well as Cocktail Mania? Yeah. How is it balancing the two? It's hard. It's so hard. You have no like I have a goal that I will make a cocktail every night and post it on Instagram. Yeah. At a certain time. Mm -hmm. At a certain you know, it just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> By the time I get home from work, work yeah. I'm tired from there, I can't be bothered and then I'm, you know, behind on the admin for the business and then, you know, you've got all your bookings coming up so you still need to be talking to your client. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard. That's why I say eventually I really want to not have to work. I did have like a time where I was just temping to try and do the business and you know to follow my dreams and stuff but yeah. <laughs> you need the money yeah, <laughs> that true. comes from yeah. working nine to five mm -hmm. to push the business mm -hmm. to the next level yeah. so it's hard to you know find the balance and, you know you meet people that are like just quit your job and follow your dreams it's like you're okay <laughs> but I can't pay my bills yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. I have to pay my bills as well you know I have responsibilities but any final words of wisdom for people who want to start start a business always choose something that you're really passionate about because your passion is what's going to carry you through the hard times the times where you don't have any bookings and the times where you're wondering how you're gonna pay the next business bill and just always work harder at making your brand better and different. Awesome, thank you very much for coming on the hub. I'm Nina, I am the director of Cocktail Mania and this is The Hub.